It is no more a secret today that the key to a successful business is the data driven decision making. Data lies at the heart of decision making process of all the organizations today and that has prompted the evolution of database job roles such as data analyst, data engineer and data scientist. Hey guys, I'm Shubham from Inchalipath and I welcome you all to this video on the key difference between the top 3 database job roles such as data analyst, data engineer and data scientist. There is a large amount of vagueness when it comes to the use of these three job titles which creates a lot of confusion as well, right? So moving on with this video, let us find out how these job titles are different from each other. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, we're going to start off by understanding each job role in a brief. Let us begin this session by first understanding who exactly is a data analyst. A data analyst is the one that gathers, investigates and represents data in a way so that everyone can understand it. The data that is gathered by data analysts usually comes from a single source. They are responsible for cleaning, organizing and translating raw data into actionable business insights, which are further used by the organizations to make data-driven decisions and data visualization is a vital part of their professional day-to-day -day routine. Next is Data Engineer. The data engineers are the ones who are responsible for building and optimizing the systems that are needed by the data scientists and data analysts to perform their tasks. They construct data pipelines for the organizations, meaning that they ensure that the data is accessible to anyone who needs to work on it. Along with that, the primary responsibilities of data engineer include ensuring that the data is properly received, transformed and stored along with building infrastructure or framework necessary for data integration. Data engineers and data scientists work closely together and as a result, many interchanges these two roles. So basically, data engineers report to data scientists with big data that they prepare in order to be analyzed by the scientists. Coming to the next job title, that is the data scientist. So a data scientist is a professional who analyzes the data strictly from a business point of view and is responsible for delivering the predictions that aid in business value. They deal with both structured and unstructured data. So as the job of a data scientist does not end there, they are also expected to identify the right arenas of data from where they can find relevant patterns so as to help in case any business related problem arises. They extensively use machine learning for their prediction purposes. So training and optimizing data models is a vital part of their professional day to day routine. Although data scientists can perform most of the tasks that data analysts perform, but data scientists are different in terms of source of the data that they work on. That is the data may come from multiple and disconnected resources. They are also more adept to making better business judgments, right? So guys, now let's move forward to the next area that is the job roles and responsibilities. The job roles and responsibilities of a data analyst lies around collecting and interpreting data from the source, analyzing the results using statistical analytics, acquiring data from primary or secondary data sources and maintain databases or data systems. Data mining, where they have to structure the raw data through various pattern or mathematical or computational algorithms. Also to extract data from a company or external database to perform any type of research. Identifying patterns and trends in data sets. They also have to create data dashboards, graphs and visualizations, then provide sector and competitive benchmarking. Next we have the job roles of a data engineer. So their day job roles include tasks like to develop, construct, test and maintaining the architectures like large scale processing systems and databases. Their architecture is what makes sure that the business needs are being fulfilled, right? Also to provide and implement the ways to improve the reliability, efficiency and quality of the data, to build the data pipelines, creating and integrating APIs, to develop the data set processes for data modeling, mining and production. Now the job roles for the data scientists. So guys, their main job role revolves around selecting features, building and optimizing classifiers by using the machine learning techniques performing data mining and analyzing by using the latest techniques to perform a proper data analysis by processing, sorting and data integration, developing data algorithms and models best suited for a particular business need, performing the predictive analysis by using the concepts of machine learning and predictive algorithms. Right. Moving forward, now that we are clear as to what these job roles actually mean, let us compare them on the basis of the skill set and the educational qualification that you will need to start a career in these job roles. 
Going with the same order as before, let us start off by discussing the skill set and educational background needed for data analysts. Basic programming knowledge in languages such as R, Python, SAS, etc. is recommended here. SQL or database knowledge and the knowledge in any data visualization tools such as Tableau, ClickView and Power BI would be an added advantage for you. A bachelor's degree in computer science, maths, statistics, information management or economics would be enough for you to start your career as a data analyst. Now for data engineers, major skills measured for this profile like experience in Hadoop, MapReduce, Pig, Hive, data streaming. Since they are architect and caretaker, their role mainly concentrates on database systems with an exhaustive knowledge in SQL and NoSQL database. The knowledge in both of these technologies is essential if you want to expand your career horizon over the data engineer domain. And if you talk about the educational qualifications, so bachelor's degree in computer science, software engineering, applied mathematics or statistics will be enough for you to start as a data engineer. However, master degree is not at all mandatory but serves as an added advantage. Alright, now we have the data scientist. So guys, the job of a data scientist requires both strong business acumen and advanced data visualization competences. Their conclusions must narrate a clear and compelling story to serve business needs, right? For that, proficiency in programming languages such as Python, R, Java, C, C++ or SAS are must. Also, you must be acquainted with the skill sets and latest technologies such as Big Data Hadoop, Machine Learning or Deep Learning. And as far as educational qualification is concerned, a bachelor's degree in computer science or software engineering, math or statistics is preferred. However, master's degree would come as an added advantage for you because if we look into the current scenarios, half of all the data scientists hold PhDs. Now let's move forward and talk about the type of companies hiring for these positions. Well, since in ID industries everything is about data, there is always a need for each of these roles, right? So more than 100 plus MNCs and startups are actively hiring for the job roles of a data analyst, data engineer and data scientist in order to solve the data driven problems and making the decisions based on the analytics. I'm listing down some of the major companies like Google, Facebook, IBM, Amazon, Accenture, Intel, Walmart, Oracle, Apple, Spotify, Adobe, Microsoft and the list goes on. And now let's discuss the salary offered for each of these roles. According to Indeed, the average salary for a data analyst ranges around $65k per annum and an experienced data analyst can earn up to $107k per annum. For data engineers, on an average, they grab around $80k per annum and an experienced data engineer can earn up to $170k per annum. And despite a recent influx of early career professionals, the median starting salary for a data scientist remains high at $95k per annum. And the median salary for an experienced manager level professionals is considerably higher at $250k per annum. Isn't that interesting? Now if this has convinced you enough, I would suggest you should go for IntelliPath's Data Science Architect Master's course, which is in collaboration with IBM. So this course is curated by the data science experts, which covers 12 courses consisting of six instructor-led trainings in data science with R, Python for data science, Apache Spark and Scala, AI and deep learning, Tableau Desktop 10, and data science with SAS. And moreover, six self-paced courses in statistics and probability, advanced Excel, MongoDB, MS SQL, machine learning, and Hadoop developer. You will also get to work on 48 industry-based projects with one capstone project. And guys, that is not it. By analyzing the current market scenarios and seeing the exhaustive job descriptions, we have come up with the additional two courses co-created with IBM named as Deep Learning with TensorFlow, Build Chatbots with Watson Assistant, which will help you in boosting your skill sets in your resume and also, you will get an exclusive access to IBM Watson Cloud Lab for Chatbots course. Upon the completion of your training, you will have quizzes that will help you prepare for the above mentioned certification exams and score the top marks. And last but not least, Upon the completion of this course and on successfully completing the project work and after reviewed by the experts, you will be rewarded with a data science certificate provided by IBM. And the certificate will be recognized globally and amongst major MNCs like Cisco, Cognizant, MU Sigma, IBM, TCS, Ericsson, Genpak and many more. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you now understand how these job roles are different from each other. So the link for the above mentioned course is in the description box. Thank you so much for giving us your precious time. See you again.